for some rest and relaxation. Ah! What the? Welcome home, ladies. Oh, Dylan, you scared the daylights out of me. But thanks, that was sweet. Anything happened while we were gone? Well, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I know. While you guys were relaxing in Paris, the rest of us had to take finals. Hey, we weren't relaxing. Yeah, we were on assignment for the magazine. And it turned into way more than an article about a fashion show. We had to hit the runway for Jean-Paul when his models ate some bad mackerel. Hello. My model just canceled. Bring me the brats. Then Byron found out we were in France. So he brought us over to Luxenstein to help bust some phony baloney Bavarian barons who were plotting to kidnap the queen. The queen was so happy, she requested a live rock angel's performance. Then she got kidnapped anyway. So we saved her again. To make a long story short, we didn't do much relaxing. Well, not to worry. While you were away, I took care of everything. My rubber plant! Oh, it's all wilted. <laughs> well, I did pick up your mail. Including... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Report cards. Read them and weep. A, 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 F. F? 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 I'll, uh... I'll, I'll be at the rubber plant store. Get this. Of all the classes to fail, I flunked P.E. Hey, me too. Maybe it's a typo. And so you see, Miss Porterhouse, clearly there's been some mistake. There certainly has. What a relief. By you. <gasps> what? You heard me. You're all a bunch of failures. Fail, fail, fail. Now go curl your hair or put on a, what do you call them, some high-heeled shoes or something. But I can't fail. Sure you can, because you did. Way to go. I don't understand. Missing the last week of school wasn't supposed to be a problem. We arranged with you before we left. Oh, we arranged? I don't remember arranging. Do you have witnesses? Well, there was us. Ha <laughs> ha Right, a bunch of failures. Suck it up, failures. You failed. But you can't do this to us. No, indeed, Ms. Porterhouse. You cannot do this to them. Yes! All right! Thank you, Principal Affleck. Of course I can do this to them. What the heck are you talking about? Um, Harrison. <laughs> As the girls have explained, they were called out of the country on business. But while they were gone, they were delayed by an international incident. You mean that lame old dilly bob with Queen Prissy Pants? Oh, come on! <clears throat> According to district rules, students who miss their final exam because of an international incident are entitled to a makeup exam. Makeup exam? Oh, I don't know so much about makeup. Uh, no, um, you must devise a physical education test and give the girls an opportunity to pass it. And I got no choice in the matter? I'm afraid you haven't. The test is to consist of two simple games played against other students and one complex exercise that combines multiple movements. Stupid rules. Oh, fine then. I'll devise a test. <laughs> you bet I will. And I'll see you little ladies first thing in the morning on the field. <laughs> I mean, field. <laughs> Tabitha, 
Oh, can a gal emphasize anymore? Sheesh. Like, your thing magazine. Huh? Hey, don't I know you? Don't ask me questions, you little pink pipsqueak. Put her on the phone right now. Hey, Verdine. There's some lady on the phone who sounds like my gym teacher. It's about a top secret arrangement. Ah, excellent. Take five, you two. Uh, take five what? Ugh. Must we always do this the hard way? Royale, show them the door. <laughs> Hello. Fashion plate, this is Buns of Titanium. Come in, over. Dispense with the code names, Porterhouse, and let's get down to business. I presume the girls have taken the news badly. Yeah, only there's a hitch. You see, the school district has these things they call rules. And turns out I can't fail the girls. Not yet. Listen, Queen Kong, I'm counting on you. Do you want to be your thing's new health and fitness editor? More than a refreshing sports drink after 200 push-ups. Then make it happen. The story's already gone to press. Not to worry, ma'am. The brats start their makeup test in five minutes. And let's just say I've twisted the odds in our favor. <laughs> Excellent. Report when you're finished. Who dares call me on the pink hotline? Control my temper? Ha! You're the one in the family with the short fuse, Bernice. Well, maybe you wouldn't be so hostile if Mother hadn't declared me her favorite at your fourth grade recital. I don't think you're my favorite, now sit down, you're blocking my view, was being sarcastic. Now what do you want? What am I doing? Oh, nothing. Just preparing to publicly humiliate the brats in my magazine. Hmm, mustaches. That would be even more humiliating. Mother of Pink! They look like our four ants from Dusseldorf. Play me some accordion music, Bernice. I feel misty. Hey, Angel. Where you been? <sighs> Warming up. Getting the blood flowing, you know? <sighs> well, come on, guys. Get limber. We have to pass this or else. Settle down, Chloe. We just have to play some games against some other students. I mean, I was flipped out about the F2, but when you think about it, this ought to be easy. I wonder what she's gonna make us play. Morning, losers. Ready to sweat? We're ready for anything you can throw at us. According to the rules, you'll be asked to show proficiency at two sports of my choosing. Kickball and dodgeball. <laughs> I haven't played those sports since grade school. Exactly. Then comes an obstacle course. And how exactly do we show proficiency? By winning. <laughs> you mean we have to win at all three events in order not to fail? You got it, Flunky Brewster. Ms. Porterhouse, that's enough. No more menacing language directed toward the students. And furthermore, I find your rules far too stringent. Girls, you need only win one event to erase your grades. What? Well, the rules allow me to overrule you once. And <clears throat> really, they're just teenagers. One out of three. Well, I guess that won't be so bad. Which students are we playing against? Oh, girls! I, I don't think I've seen you around campus. Ms. Porterhouse? I can assure you my little sisters are still in school. The one with the barbed wire fence. We even held back a lot for busting stuff. Gee, Porterhouse, kickball, get to it! I don't know, but I've been told those wimpy gals are going to fold. Uh, Principal Affleck? <laughs> Woo-hoo! Way to pitch, 
Angel, you're on fire. Two out, bottom of the ninth. We leave seven to six, one more out, and we pass. Time out, time out, time for a huddle. What's the matter with you, huh? You're playing like a bunch of cheerleaders. Oh, they're tougher than they look, especially the blonde one. You said it, Matilda. No kidding. Listen to you. We are on the verge of losing everything here. I never thought I'd have to stoop to this. Not with the principal watching, anyway. Put it on. And let's put this game behind us. Time in! Dean Maxwell, the founder, president, editor-in-chief of Your Thing magazine, and the reigning queen of fashion. This is the Iron Duchess. The brats just lost to kickball. Ooh, good code name. But there's a wrinkle in our plan. No, I won't tolerate wrinkles. That blonde girl is a dynamo out there. Chloe, since when is she the athletic one? Well, she almost beat us. So, how do we iron out the wrinkle? Permanent press. No, you lughead. Chloe, what's your plan? Oh, the dynamo. I think there might be something I can do about her that could create a permanent split in the group. Hey, uh, Chloe. Way to go on the kickball field. But you might want to slow down. Yeah, save some energy for dodgeball. Yeah, chill, Angel. I can't chill, okay? Because I'm on the verge of getting a big, fat F. Understand? F! I've never had an F before. We know. We're all in the same situation. No, we're not. Chloe, what's going on? My mom and dad lean on me really hard to get straight A's. Keep those grades up, Chloe. Make us proud. If I come home with an F on my report card, they'll flip. They'll freak. They'll, uh, well, they'll ground me for sure. But worse, They'll be ashamed of me. Hey, Angel, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were under that kind of pressure. We're with you, okay? We'll beat this thing together. I sure hope so. Hey, they crossed the line. That's against the rules. I didn't see anything. Did you see anything, sir? How can I when you're standing in my way? Uh, I'm hit! No! You did, but you impressed me. And for that reason, I'm giving you a pass. You mean, we're not gonna get an F? We're through? 
Yes, oh, Alex! No, I mean you're through. You're an uber girl, Goldilocks. So take your A and go hit the showers. What about my friends? On to the obstacle course with their big, fat Fs. Can't I stay and help them? Sure you can. And if you lose at the obstacle course, then you're back to an F. But, but nothing, Angel. We know how important this A is to you. You have to take it. Make your parents proud. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. And good luck. Well, well, well. And then there were three. On an obstacle course built for four. Third and final challenge, the obstacle course. The rules are simple. You four, excuse me, three failures will race against Team Porterhouse over, under, and through a variety of obstacles. First across the finish line wins. What? Excuse me. Go! Hi, Mom, Dad. It's Chloe. Call me back as soon as you get this message. I have some good news. Oh. Hi, Chloe. Got those pictures developed from your trip. <sighs> Thanks, Dylan. You're the best. Hey, what are friends for? Uh, speaking of friends, where is everyone? Taking their PE makeup test. I got an A. Hey, great. Yeah, so how come I feel so crummy? You probably had jet lag. But hey, have a gander. Maybe these will perk you up. <laughs> Check it out. Byron's doing bunny ears on that Queen of Luxenstein. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. stand side by side with each other. Yeah, that's where we belong. And we'll always be there for one another. Sharing Want any double prints? No, Dylan. I want to hug you. You're a genius! If my parents call back, tell them I spoke too soon. <laughs> These girls are too much! I'm thrashed. We're not gonna make it! Come on, ladies. We're almost finished. All you gotta do is climb this wall. <laughs> That thing's got to be 15 feet tall. There's no way we can climb it. Three of you can't, but four can. <gasps> Chloe? What are you doing here? I had an epiphany. We can do anything, because everything we do, we do together. Except this, Angel. No, this too. You guys have always been there for me. I was just too freaked out to remember that. But your parents. If I get an F, maybe they'll be ashamed of me. But if I let you down, I'll be ashamed of myself. <sighs> now, come on. Come back for more punishment, have you, Blondie? Fine. You'll all fail together. Build a pyramid, quick. Come on. Such teamwork, such such precision, they 
Can't lose! Unless I... Ms. Porterhouse! Why, if I didn't see it with my own eyes, I would not believe it! You, you, you're trying to cheat! But I, I, I... I've seen enough. You're fired! Ha! Say if I care. And young ladies, congratulations. You get an A. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. yeah, we got it. But now Verdine won't hire me. Verdine! So she was behind this. I, I, I have no job. I, uh, I have to go back to scraping barnacles. <laughs> yes, Bernice, they passed. No, Bernice, I'm not bothered at all. In fact, I've decided to finally cast my troubles away and sail forth to Dusseldorf. Because I miss them so. Dear Auntie Gertrude, Auntie Helga, Auntie Giselle, Auntie Rolf. Well, on my own ship, of course. Yes, it's still in dry dock, you jealous twit. I'm busy scrubbing the barnacles from my bow right now. Bow of my ship. Enough with the chit-chat, you're just filling time. I must get back to work. Back to work!